Hi guys, Jay here from BornToProduce.com and in this video we're going to show you how to use Groove Agent as a sampler. So this will be particularly useful for you AI or LE users who don't have the Cubase sampler track. So the first thing to do is load up Groove Agent. So we go right click in the space here, add instrument track, and you want to go to drums and click on Groove Agent and click on add track. Now just before I do that, if you don't even have to use a sampler for a kick drum, for example, you can simply drag in the sample somewhere on the project window and just click OK. And if you wanted to have a four by four beat, you'd simply hold down Alt or Option and just copy them over, highlight and copy over. So now you have some kick drums on the beat there. Just turn that down. So there you go, that's that. I'm just gonna undo that. So do it in a sampler, just click this button here to open up Groove Agent. Again, I'm going to bring the same sample, but this time I'm going to drop it into Groove Agent Pad 1. And you want to use either the top one to place the sample or the second one down, which means it will replace the sample that's already there. You don't need to use the bottom one. That's for, that's for putting many samples on one pad. We don't need to do that. So I'm just going to use the top one. And now when I press my C1 key on my MIDI keyboard, I can now trigger this. If you want it on C3, which is what the standard root key is on the Cubase sampler track. So if you want it to be on C3 like it is in our videos, then simply come over to page four up here, get the same kick and just chuck it on C3. Now I trigger this sample with C3. Okay, I'll show you how to manipulate the sample in a second, how to change the sound of it. But in order to program this in or in order to trigger this, other than my MIDI keyboard. I could press record and play my keyboard and re record this in, but I'm gonna show you how to do it via MIDI. So you would need to draw a MIDI event in, so either come to the draw tool at the top or press number eight as a shortcut on your keyboard or press alt or option, hold it down, it turns into a draw tool like so. And we're just gonna draw uh, empty MIDI event, double click it. Again, holding down Alt or Option, we're just gonna program in some notes. You'll notice that that's not quite on the grid. I just need to have my grid snap turned on and then just drag this over. And now I'm gonna just put this on each beat. You can see the beats at the top, one, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. 2, 2.2, 2.3, etc. etc. So now we have four by four beats, one on each beat. So now that information there is just MIDI. It's no there's no audio, it's just a bit of information saying play this note here, turn off this note here, play this note here, turn off this note here. That's all it is. So when we play it, what it's doing is just playing the sample on C3. And you can see the sample playing here from left to right. So I'm now going to replace that kick sound with one of the ones we use in our beginners tutorial, and that is our leads, no, our plucks. Probably that one, I can't remember, but it doesn't matter which one. So I'm going to highlight that sample, drag it over. This time I'm going to choose the replace function. And now instead of having a kick drum on C3, we have pluck. But at the moment it's only on C3. I'm playing other keys on my keyboard and nothing's happening. By the way, you can change volume and pan here. But before I show you how to change the pitch and have it mapped across the keyboard, I'm just gonna show you, you can change the tuning of this if you want by clicking and dragging the course dial. If you want to change the tuning, do that. And here's your fine tuning. Just, that is just up or down 100 cents. 
control or command click to reset any function. So for now, if we go to pitch, I'm going to show you how to map this sound so it plays across the keyboard. Click on key range, drag the low key all the way down to the bottom and drag the high key all the way up to the top. You can see that it's all changed and mapped across these, all of these windows. As you can see, it's all been sampled for you. I'm now playing my MIDI keyboard. You can even play a chord if you want. If you were to put this on fixed pitch, obviously it'd be the same pitch all the way along the keyboard, which could be useful for a drum sample. So to change the start point and end point, go to sample, scroll it back, and you can just choose your zoom in or zoom out. I'm going to use zoom out. And now we've got the start and end points here. So sometimes we change the start and end points in our tutorials. So change the start point by clicking and dragging the yellow S. So now we're not hearing the first part of that sample. Put that back. You can also have a fade as well, which is the white square above the S. That's now a faded in. So you lose all the attack. And the same with the end, you can have this sample shorter. But you get a nasty click. So if you are going to do that, Set the fade out, which is the white block above the S. So now you can hear the sample is a lot shorter. Okay, that's that. The amplitude, you can change the attack and delay here if you want to. So you have to change this to one shot. And you can change the fade as well, however you want it. But I wouldn't worry about that. I would just do my start and end points here under the sample tab. You have got a filter, you just need to switch it on. You probably don't need this because we do all the EQ on the actual channel itself. But just let you know that that's there. And that's about it really. That's how you use Groove Agent as a sampler. Obviously there's a lot more to it. You can put effects on it and all that sort of thing. But I just wanted to do a very basic video for you LE and AO users who don't have the Cubase sampler track. This is a good way around for you because everybody has Groove Agent. Every single Cubase version has Groove Agent. So, and that's pretty damn good if you ask me. So I hope that was useful for you guys. I'll uh, see you in the next tutorial. All the best. Bye-bye.